Yeah. And then what do you do is void. Like, you're already getting shafted if you put I, into the offlane role. So they basically is, have to pick an offlaner here, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I, I can't believe this. Or Necro's drop. offlane. That feels so scary. Necro offlane's a little underwhelming. It's a troll. Yeah. So... So it is Necro offlane. Interesting. Nequa Necro. So they're going to do a troll mid. It, Yep, good to push him back. Necro not really getting a hell of a lot out of his lane either. Monkey King doubling him in last hits, and I think doing slightly better in terms of experience. Yeah, and a nice little edge there. And Trolls CS 15-6 versus the 16-8 on Fada, so relatively even. But now that Yapsor is rotated in, this is really starting to tip in favor of the Radiant. Topson getting kind of low. They find it. It's the Spike Carapace from Yapsor <laughs> that secures the first blood and bring down, brings down the Troll. Very nice here for Oh, no. And they were out of spells, right? Wasn't he going to live? Fata. Oh, oh he knows that they the might scan for the to know that he Fata. goes. Can he find it? He gets the decrep. Oh, he he's needs guaranteeing it. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, the scan plays to know he was going to go for it, too. Oh, that was super heads up. Oh, what a great. I love early game scans. They're like, they're so good for the like Rickies or something to figure out where he went. XD drawn on the map by Fata. XD. XD indeed. Well, this will be a kill for Fata, so this mid lane now is basically. This would one. be the worst episode of What the Horse ever. <laughs> <laughs> is it What's option A? Here? Oh. Pugna kills Die. himself to the tower. Troll lives. Option B. I don't know. The troll dies. <laughs> option C. Troll Dota dies. 3 comes out. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be B. And suddenly there's a Monkey King behind you. Yeah. It seems so obvious. <laughs> Surprise! The spectator, but Nick was like, wow, what the hell? Where did this guy come from? He's going to have the Ghost Shroud, though, so he should be able to survive through this. I think Ace looking nah. for body blocks here. He pump fakes the ultimate, and now they've got the right clicks. They will indeed secure the kill. Those bit of body blocks were just enough. Oh, and the Catapult. He's rolling in the dough right now. But yeah, mid tower is the next problem for the Dire. Ooh, SCSC, that's half your HP. Fata, caught by Telekinesis, Cold Feet comes in, Chrono on two, they'll bring down Fata immediately, but now Yapsor on the run does not have anything left, and it's a two for, two for one special in the mid. Water rotations inbound though, STST coming around the backside. That's a dire ward down that's in lane, so they've got pretty good vision of where the Monkey King is, he catches him with the Telekinesis, and now mid one will fall, another nice rotation. But there are a lot of Radiant heroes inbound. They're pinging it out. They have an idea of where he is. Shadow Poison connects. Mid one up on the tree. Okay, they missed time the disruption, but that's fine. It'll be the setup for Yapsor and another easy kill for Team Secret. The burst damage is more than enough. Secret are just going to keep the pressure on here, Trent. I, mean, I think you hit the nail on the head. This has basically been 4v5 Dota. And Ace is number one on net worth. Happy as a clam. Pretty darn close to the Battle Fury also. Just a broad sword out, and he's got it. Scary times ahead for this dire team, I think. Yep. Uh, they now rotate all down. This looks so eerily similar to before, too, right? Like, oh, here we go. Chrono. Ice Chrono Blast. On the combo. Oh, ice Blast to follow up. It does connect. They bring down Yapsor. They execute Fada. And just like that, Secret make a misstep. And it's a quick twofer. Another nice Chrono from Illidan makes the whole thing possible. Hmm. Okay, nice. I mean, that's what you need, right? If you're going to fight this, it has to be the big combos. If you miss one of those combinations, you just kind of lose. It's like these early ravages or anything like that. The other yeah. team just takes full advantage and they push in like crazy. So difficult to execute, but SFT get it done this time. The question is, is this going to be like last game where every time it felt like they had the success, the net worth just kept climbing for secret. Could They're they still, still up for now. Defense here? This tower very low, but Monkey King nearby in the tree line. STST gets stunned. He's very low, and Anti Mage will pop him one last time to secure the kill. Now Monkey King, the leap forward, slows down the Ancient Apparition. Troll jumps in. Battle Trance is popped, but stunned by Yapsor. Catches him in the tree line. Monkey King gives him a love tap. It's a 4v5 right now. Pugna not inbound, but he's in the river on the way. It'll be the Dire in retreat. They've got this shrine available, and they will get topped off. So Secret don't defend the tower, but they get a little pick-me-up on the way out. So Yapsor, though, he's going right in for the Void. Oh, nice sentry. And now Yapsor could be in trouble. Telekinesis back. Ice Blast will connect, and there is no saving it. 
This will buy him some time, but he'll pop out of disruption and he will pop immediately. Now Puppy on the run, Niqua trying to chase him down. Void inbound, no Chrono. Already used the time walk, but there's Topson. Catches him with the ranged axes and some right clicks will finish him off. Secret. And even though this feels like it's getting perhaps a little scary for Secret, Ace has still had no pressure. He's still number one on net worth. He's got his Battle Fury. He's just sitting in the jungle playing Farmville, having a good old time. Oh, wait. There's more. Chrono, Ice Blast, and Equal with the Reaper's Siphon. Trent, I don't know if I've ever seen a better case of the Caster's Curse than that. Yeah, he, uh, he, he did just not died. buy enough tokens in Farmville or something. <laughs> three out of three, four out of four. Uh, it, it's yeah. it's pretty impressive. Like definitely, like I I see the prowess. I see the part of this team that upset OG earlier in this tournament. Now mid. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna set up here on the top side, but he's actually just gonna turn. He says Monkey King's ult. It matters not. I'm just gonna run through this puppy now. Trying to follow up with the cavalry. It's here. Illidan. He does not have the ultimate. He's silenced. But Pugna doing a lot of damage. They're about to bring down Ancient Apparition. He will fall mid one in pretty far forward. He's still alive, but Reaper's Scythe will finish him off. Now Topson, he's regenerated. He comes right back in on the Fada. They get the bashes. The Bash brothers are in town as Puppy TPs home. A one for two, and it is a favorable fight for the Dyer. However, Rubik does fall to the wrath of Puppy after the fight ends. Yeah, SFT people forget, as you said, they did knock out OG. Played really well in both games. Kind of slaughtered OG, to be honest. Uh, uh, however, Illidan might be in trouble with that Chrono. Top lane, it's a lot of heroes. Sure is. He's not going to get to do anything. Man, that's a lot of stun locks. Yeah. This is the, the beauty of Monkey King that still allows him to be support in like, pubs and stuff, is that range of initiation. Yeah. Secret. Mid lane. Or, pardon me, Puppy. <laughs> Mid lane, one on three. Ice Blast will fly through. They don't even need it. Another easy pick off. So they go one for one, but it is a core for support. It's garbage. Okay, and they have a Necrophos, AA, and Rubik. Yeah, so. AA really loves that Vlad's. Yeah, I mean, that's changer. the game changer right there. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, overall, just uh, I'm really digging this dire stuff, man. This AM, like, yeah, he's starting to get to the scary point. He's leading the chart like he should be, but it's a Void and a Troll. These are two great heroes up against Animage. Yep. Oh, Chrono on two. Illidan sets it up for the Ice Blast. It will fly in. Ace is down. Yapsor on the run. He pops the Spike Carapace. Fata also inbound, but he'll Vendetta. They'll make it away. Yep. Uh, any cargo on the courier? Nope. No, it was empty. Mid one has the ulti here, so there's a potential for a punish here, but there's just and not much comes. damage. Wukong's command, the BKB gets popped by Troll. He dies deep. It's turning into a spread out fight. Mid one will get caught by the Ice Blast. They'll lose the tier one tower. STSD almost dies to the Wukong's command, oh, but he, he does stole back the jump. out in time. Now they pick on Peksu off to the right, and Yapsor will be credited with that kill. He's the only death in this entire back and forth. The rest of the Dyer will just TP home and cut their losses. Yeah, they're going to go really bottom defense, to push it out and use the speaking, Shrine, but too. Still a very tough fight. The Wukong's command, sort of a, a hard ultimate to fight around. Yeah. Yeah, Yapsor, down see bottom. That? He was hoping there would be a death pulse for farming so we could open with the stun. It was a, a nice heads up play, a good thought, but unfortunately yeah. for him, the Necro didn't go for it. I like that. Okay, for secret. Gildan also now with his Diffusal Blade. Set up here in the mid. Oh, that's a lot of AMs. Blade. He does have the Chrono. That is a shitload of AMs. And now he does not have the mana. He's slowed by Demonic Purge. Ace, he's about to pop him like a pinata, baby. Here we go. Ice Blast flies through. STST may be in some trouble, and he will fall. Three down on the side of SFT. Huh? Yeah, Sora has been sitting right here for like 30 seconds, and the Courier just finally came over. So I feel bad. Because yeah, he just bad. left. But once he's a uh, couple more levels on there, he can just be invis forever. Mid one, he gets caught by the Chrono. So it's a solo Chrono. Nice save from Puppy. It'll buy him a little bit of time. Mid one will still go down. But Chrono for that, it might be hard for SFT to, to go into the Roach Pit knowing that their big team fight ability is not available. Peksu, no mana. Ace doesn't even need the mana void. It'll just finish him off. That makes it a 4v4. Now Illidan goes in onto Fata. He gets decrep. STST nearby. Fata in big trouble. Glimmer Cape does not come out fast enough. And he goes down. Topson out of mana, but now he pops the BKB. He wants Puppy. He may find him here. STST blinks forward. They destroy him. It's a one for three. A great fight for SFT. And Secret may have to concede this Roche after all. Nether Wart stolen from the Rubik. Very helpful in that fight. Plopping it right down by the pit. It was like they just had the blinders on, man. They killed... They, uh... Well, 
Oh, there you go, yeah. another so quick he grab there. A little too close. Oh, Sykes a does not oh. finish him off. Oh, he has the Yule Scepter. Now Ace comes back in. STST might get finished off here. Mana Void finds the kill. They at least delay the Roche a little bit longer, but they lose their Nyx in the process. Roche at about half HP. Ace does not want to let this go. The Monkey King also nearby. This isn't over yet, Trent. Fod is up. He's going to be able to TP in. And now the Wukong's command. Rubik buys back for this. Mid one doing a lot of damage. He repels them out of Roche. Illidan almost falls, but Force Staff keeps him alive as now Ace turns his face towards the Roche pit. They go to the shrine. They'll heal up. But Secret have delayed this. And now they're ready to team fight again. 30 seconds I... on Chrono, so still a pretty good window where Secret could try to contest. What could, I don't know if Secret have any more than the tank, though, do they? I'm not sure. They might lose Puppy straight away. He gets a little too cocky. He's still oh, alive. The, the life Glimmer drain! King. Not enough, but Illidan will fall. The life drain from Fada on the high ground helps him out. But Ace, he goes in too deep on the other side, and he gets taken out himself. It's a sloppy fight for Secret. But again, they've got some resources here. The Void is down, and it's hard for Thompson to commit to the pit. He's low on HP. He's out of mana. And now Yapsor bringing him low. They force another BKB charge. Monkey King jumping up and down all around is now the Yule Scepter by Yapsor a little bit of time. Fata holds in the low ground, but the decrep. He's got a life drain. It's not enough. He'll fall as well. The Dyer have done it, and they might have finally secured this Roche pit. Monkey King, he jumps back in. Mid one, he's him. going for a steal. No, they know he's there. Nikwa knocks oh, him back. He almost four staffed three. over that tree. <laughs> he was trying to get the break. I can't believe they finally did it. I know, Secret's so risky coming back in, but then they actually get the kill on Illidan. The blink, the Aether lens there from Fata. He had so much range. Up some survivability, but um, a lot of pressure on Fata in these team fights. STST actually catches him. Illidan, he deploys the Chrono. They know how valuable this kill is, and Fata picked off. Maybe SFT looked to push him. Eight charges. He's got one oh, left. Get this. Secret with the old dirty. They're going to lose their tier two quickly. Telekinesis on the puppy, but they're not sure if they want to commit. Reaper's Scythe comes in. It doesn't finish him off, but he will get clipped by Ice Blast, and that will. Up top, Anti Mage is split pushing. They have to get back. We'll stay here as Thompson. Thompson. Low. He's getting slowed down. Monkey King drops another defusal. They force another BKB charge. Illidan's back. No chrono. No man. Oh, Ace Secret. is in the base. Limited he killed Pexu. resources here, but mid one, he can be in careful. Oh, it's a stolen Wukong's command. Now mid one, he's going to get a taste of his own medicine, but there's no sugar to make Ace it go down. Ace is killing the Fata melee rats. Finish off the Aegis. Now the TP's out. He's trying to drain STST. It won't work. Illidan on the run, but now Fata, he might be out too far. Thompson's here. He is so committed right now. He's got the blink dagger, and Your he will base. blink across. Makes it to the high ground. Anti-mage up top. He's finished off a lane of barracks. <laughs> Ace has completely split pushed this down, and Secret somehow, some way, come out big on the other side of this fight. With the soul catcher. It's true. Okay, rotation from Secret. They've got Yapsor leading the charge, troll farming the high ground, and now oh, they go on to the Necro. Look, Yapsor they have no save. Steps it up, but now STST jumps forward. Kind of an odd position as SFT very spread about, start to back up Lotus Orb, keeps him safe for now, but Chrono, Wukong's command comes out, they're gonna try to focus mid one, he's getting low, he gets Reaper's Sight, and that'll be the end of the Wukong's command, Illidan getting low as well, Nikwa almost dies, but Ace doesn't have the damage with the ultimate, he'll try to blink away, and he will, follow up to try to finish off some of these kills, could be inbound, Puppy gets off the Soul Catcher, the Disruption, but the Spore Staff will keep oh, him up on the high ground. Illidan the getting train. drained. Fada doesn't have the range. He gets off the Decrep. They blast him, and they'll find the kill. Void down. No buyback. It's a 4v4, but Secret are right outside the base. Is that a stolen Wukong's command? It sure is. Right? And he's saying, like, all right, team, just come. He's set up. Like, let's kill this guy. And I, I believe I, I said he. they have no save because they don't. There's no saving here on the die. The best thing they have is, like, Chrono, right? But the Glimmer Cape from AA has to walk into getting himself stunned to Glimmer him and ends up saving without the Lotus Orb, but... Disruption. Puppy. Puppy. The He's gonna be of the radio. after a telekinesis. This could be a sticky fight for Secret, but Ace, he jumps in. He wants STST. needs one more with the Glimmer Cape. Keeps him alive. Fada will bring down the Ancient Apparition instead, but Ace, Bash, he's taking damage so quickly. Another Bash! Oh my god, so unlucky for the Anti-Mage, but he will fall. Secret starting to get cleaned up as they lose Fada to boot. Down bottom, Anti-Mage. Uh, doing the well. Ancients? They, they found the troll pass. here. Oh, the setup. Thompson, he'll get obliterated. That's a 10x streak down, but now Fada's got nowhere to go, and he might have to pay with his life for this one. 
He does have a life drain, but it makes no difference. Illidan will also use his BKB, so it'll be on cooldown for a while here. He's got a couple seconds left, and Secret might try to reinitiate. Fought is bought back. They want this. They know how big this window is. Illidan does use the Chrono, but the disruption is there. Puppy on the backside. Troll Warlord will also buy back for this. Where are we going here, Trent? anti uh, is pushing that whole time. He got the tier yeah, two. They had to come back, use the Reaper Scythe, and uh, couldn't do anything, though. Uh, did not do much damage to Ace at all. He's now all the way back in the mid lane, and they're just looking for this Roche spawn. This is probably where someone just sits inside. Unlucky, though. Secret definitely planning on that Roche. Yep, so he's going to yeah, walk so right again. into him. They do still have the gem, I believe. Yes, they do. Now Fada, he's joining the party, and Ice Blast Look will fly combos. in. This could be huge. It connects on two, Fada being one of them. Mid one deploys the Wukong's command. BKB from Thompson used Puppy with another nice save. He has to pay with his life, and it does not keep Fada alive when it's all sudden done. Illidan on the backside does get taken out by Ace. It's a one for two. STST. Still alive. Monkey King jumps over, doesn't find it, but Anti oh, He has the dunk in. ready. It's a stolen carapace that actually keeps Rubik alive. He is one snaky devil, but now Topson, he's the one that bought back. If he dies, SFT could be in trouble, but he will live. Monkey King jumps forward, looking for the opening again, but can't find it. Glimmer Cape on point, and the troll will survive. So it's a wow. dieback for Fata. He's going to be out of the game for another 60. I Ace can't find the dunk through all of that. Like, between the Lotus Orbs, he doesn't want to throw it out there. Um, uh, there's probably something that makes it bad. That's usually well, the case. I think uh, the regen is the big one that the Lincolns gives you that the yeah. other doesn't. Yapsor, though, will hold that thought as Illidan. He uses a BKB for this and another defusal charge. They will finish off Yapsor, but mid one comes in. He deploys the ultimate. Fata's here. It's a pretty big chrono. A stolen Wukong's command. Puppy again with a great defensive disruption. Buys for the time of the chrono and the void just gets evaporated. Nikwa as well. And all of a sudden, Secret have turned this fight. Fata's so low. He'll get cold footed, but the glimmer. Oh my god, how is he so alive? Hexu now falls as well. Troll Warlord, the only one left alive. Trent, what in the hell happened? How did they turn that around? Uh, Wukong's command did like 5,500 damage. Jesus Christ. Because he has items now and they fought in it the whole time. Dude, Monkey King went nectar all over their asses. Yeah. He's a hell okay, of a hero. Well, three buybacks and Ace is still going to get the ranged barracks. So that's a, a value add here for Secret. Lincolns gets broken. That's the fourth buyback. I think if you're Secret, you just get the hell out of here. You're happy with what you got <laughs> and you cut your losses. Dude, Ace gonna is going to turn though. Illidan, he gets dropped. This could actually be the end of the game. If Thompson dies here, Secret should be able to finish this. Ace drops the ultimate. The Mana Void brings down the Rubik and now the Troll Warlord falls. The diebacks are stacking up for SFT and the GG is called. Secret, go 2-0 in this best of five now one win away from qualifying for ESL one hamburg very well played once again from team secret it feels like they just give their opponents nothing even when their opponents are at their strongest they just like how how do you go high ground how do you, I don't know I don't know what it is man the scouting from Yapsor it's, it's so reminiscent of like pile I die it, it's exactly what it feels like and, and like he's dying across the map but every time he dies you're just looking at what the other people on the team are doing and you're like okay this is worth this is fine maybe if they didn't get that rax like this game's a little bit special i think because they were certainly much closer on sft but that raxing up top by ace was just so crucial and both times they threw buybacks at sft right ace is like on a building and it's a fight that doesn't really matter it's over a tier two in the mid lane but they're just throwing buybacks fada's just buying back buys back for roche because they're just keeping them occupied while ace is doing those important moves on the side lanes